Hello my darlings and welcome back to Satin My Shoe. Now we are in the fashion district once again today. I'm back with the wonderful Miguel at his apartment for the final time. Today we have a hallway to furnish, a bedroom and also a bathroom. So let's get to it. Happy Tuesday my darlings and welcome back to Let's Build. Imundi. It was Italian today. All the worlds. Hello, my darlings. Here we are. We are back at Miguel's apartment for the final time today. Uh, as you saw from the intro, we have got a little bathroom and a little, like, sort of hallway moment to furnish there. Plus that little entrance cube. I don't know. Where, entrance cube? Entrance cube. I don't know what we're going to do with that. Maybe a mirror or something in there. No idea. And obviously Miguel's bedroom where all of the magic happens, including um, lots of tinkering. And <laughs> because look at this, this apartment needs uh, some kind of TLC. And because I, I, I had to go through with the traits because of all of his kind of like artifacts and stuff, I would imagine this place being a little bit haunted. So I've actually made, oh, you can't see it's behind me. You can't see it, but I've actually made the lot type, a spooky lot type. And we've gone for some island spirits, a home studio to get the writing up. And we can't change that one around. That one needs to stay there. That's the TLC. That's what this apartment needs. It needs some bloody TLC. It really does. Um, But yeah, that's all we've got to do today. We might not be here very long, but we're going to get through anyway. And then guess what we're doing tomorrow, my darlings? Um, where is it? <laughs> no, seriously, where is it? Oh, it's over there. <laughs> I was like... Where's the penthouse? Here's the penthouse. I've pulled out a few things. I want to try and make this look kind of similar on top. I want it to blend into the building rather gorgeously. But we have got a family of five moving in there tomorrow. Um, so that is what we're going to be cracking on with tomorrow, my sweets. So be on the looks out for it because that will be coming. Anyway, let's go. Hello. How was your weekends? I hope you had a lovely weekend, whatever you got up to. Mine was nice, very nice indeed. I went to a wedding. Tom's best friend got married and Tom was the best man and it was very lovely. It was up in Derby um, or near Derby. Um, yeah, it was, it was bloody lovely. Really, really nice. I had a, such a nice time. Um, but I'm, I'm a bit tired now. I might have got a little bit drunk over the weekend, you know? Might, so I might be suffering some, from some kind of hangover. You know, that could be what's happening. That could be what's happening. I, 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 I won't give too much away, but that could be what's happening. <laughs> and it will be the same next week as well, because I'm going out with friends um, this weekend coming too. So two weeks of Aiden hangovers, and you know what that's like. I'm an absolute mess. So where are we starting today? I've just moved the doors along. Like I'm thinking like a nice, we could put like a hall table there, with some stuff up on here. This is not giving us much room for anything, really. I mean, we could hang up like a few coats or something here, maybe with a key thing. So maybe we'll start on this bit here. I think this bit would be easy enough to furnish, won't it? But yeah, hello. I hope you had a lovely weekend. What did you get up to? Let me know down in the comment box below, please, if you would. Because you know me, nosy bitch. Absolutely nosy bitch. And I'd love to know what you like are getting up to. <laughs> so let me know down below. I think that's a bit big. I think the one... That would look... Oh, you would look good here. Oh, you will. Yes. I was going to go for the Jungle Adventure one. But that, one, that one's got like soap and stuff on it, hasn't it? So it never... It, sometimes it just doesn't make sense. So I'm not going to do that one. I'm going to use this one. But size... Um, change this swatch. Already failing. I am going to do a mirror here, I think. Are we going to do a mirror here? Oh, we could do a mirror here. No, I'm kind of feeling a table bit. <gasps> a mirror above the table. We'll do that there. We'll stick with the original plan and get some Cody pegs and stuff in here. Yes, we will indeed. What is coming up on this week on the channel, you may ask? Well, we're definitely going to dive into another Google build. Um, you guys seem to really enjoy that. I haven't gotten around to answering the comments yet because I've been away, but I will be answering them this evening. Um, so thank you so much for all of your lovely comments. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I really, really do. We've got one of those coming this week. And also another speed build coming this week. Something a little bit different with the speed build as well, which is going to be cool. Something I've wanted to build for a while. Um, and it involves some dogs. I'm not going to let you let... I'm not going to let on any further than that. But that is coming this week as well. Um, very excited. Yes, I am indeed. I think that might be a bit low, Aiden. Let's put you up a little bit higher like that. Yeah, I think that should do. Yeah, that's nice. That, 
that's nice maybe a radiator under there oh no it wouldn't make sense this is supposed to be a new apartment even though it looks about 90 years old um so we won't be doing that what about the key thing does the key thing come up if i type if i just type in key would that come up with the holder not at all of course it doesn't I even tried to type up letters and it didn't come up. It's storage. It's called something storage. Hooked on storage. So hook might be a good one to look for next time, Aiden. Will I remember that? No. Definitely not. I'm going to put it on this side, though, because I've had experience in the past with these. When you put them beyond the door and the bloody door doesn't open, you know. So that's where it's going to stay. I'm thinking a lamp out here. I'm thinking a lamp, but maybe something that looks like he got it on one of his travels, you know. So something a little bit more elaborate, maybe with a, I don't know, a certain flair to it. Um, so what would be the perfect one? We'll go for my favorite at the minute. I am absolutely loving using this light, especially like outdoors and stuff. I just I just think it's lovely. Um, and I, don't, I, I think that looks well traveled, you know. Have we got like a swatch where it will look a little bit more rusted or like weathered even? Oh, there we go. Oh, yes. Yes, that's the tech hit right there. Um, I did have letter um, typed in, so I'm thinking about maybe even bringing in some of these. Um, of course, you will go there. Oh, God. Where did that one disappear to? I mean, come the fuck on, Bridget. Really? Honestly. I swear. Right, let's put you there. Why is that disappearing into that? Oh, maybe because this ridge is this. Uh, that still doesn't make sense. I'm sorry. Absolutely not. No, I'm not going to let you get away with that either. <laughs> really oh that's strange oh that is very strange i'm gonna lift it up with the tool mod i used the omsp shelf that was annoying so yeah just so it doesn't look like it's disappearing in there we don't want that nothing much else needs to go in here really maybe i could even squidge in the umbrella stand maybe underneath where the coats are and i'm thinking just a little rug to be honest with you a little little rug can we spell umbrella today aiden that would be great. Thank you. Um, and we're going to flop this one here in as well. There we go. Beautiful. Get rid of custom content. And also just getting in a little rug so they can wipe their feet when they come in through the front door. You know? There we go. I'm just going to use that one. Ye old Faithful from Cats and Dogs. That will do absolutely perfectly. Yeah. Cool. Fine. Happy with that. Lovely jubbly. So as I said out here, I do want a little bit of a side table going here there it is i was just about to say and i've got one in mind and it's this one here really need to remember this one here because this would do really good for tvs and stuff i think this would be a nice tv unit you know what i mean and there's another one coming in in that new ranch pack as well and um, that i've had my eye on i actually looked at all of the build and buy objects uh today and they look great i will say that i'm not excited about the gameplay or anything at all i've kind of learned now not to be excited by gameplay from The Sims 4. <laughs> so I don't, I don't go down that route anymore. I'm primarily going to look at this as a, um, through, for the build and buy, you know. And I've been thinking about bringing back some kind of like build and buy review. So maybe be on the looks out for it. Because I think I'm going to be doing that in the near future. I don't know why I'm getting this out. I don't think it fits with the aesthetics very well. So I'm going to just pretend that that didn't happen. And we're going to move on and put another mirror up there. I think maybe this one here would probably work a bit better. Yeah, but this all sits at such a stupid height. It's like a lot of the mirrors in The Sims 4. I'm sure they just don't check it or they're just not bothered. Um, But they just don't bloody sit right as far as I'm concerned. And they need to sort that out as well. Thank you. 0.1 is that right no that's absolutely shocking let's go down a little bit more please there we go further 0.2 and that seems to have worked quite nicely yeah cute i like that i do like that but i do want to clutter up this i am going to use the same object but i think what i'm going to do is recolor well not recolor it but just choose a different color choose a different color a couple of you from last time as well was like where's where's he going to eat like he, d he doesn't care he sits on the d he sits on his chair and he's and to be honest with you he's never bloody home and he's always eating out when he is home so that is the um storyline for that thank you very much thank you for asking um surfaces i need to get that i think what i'm gonna do is pull it up with the omsp shelf from the wonderful um picture and me amoeba i always get your name wrong my love i always get your name wrong but i absolutely adore you um 
and that is a wonderful shelf you know stunning does everything that i need i never used to get along with it because i didn't know how to work it oh this one here doesn't have one <laughs> damn <laughs> so we got we did all of that for no reason we did all of that for no reason i am gonna size it down though i think oh if i just keep it in there like that i don't really oh that's fine please don't be cutting through anywhere no you're not don't really like that colorway here though so i think i'm gonna choose a different color it needs to be darker mm. eh. oh, see that's my favorite i love that swatch we'll go for that one though we'll go for that one and we just need a few other bits here and there so let me grab a few other bits out and there we go. I've just flopped up some postcards around the mirror from his travels, of course. Um, some files, some faxes, documents that he needs to file away and get written down into a book. Same here. And I've just put some like peeling wallpaper and stuff up on there just to give it a little bit more detail. And do you know what? I'm absolutely for that. And I thought what would be a nice little cute, cute touch. And I'm wondering if we can get that from Debug. I don't even have Debug on. It's a grilled cheese sandwich. And... The reasons for that is Miguel has made friends for the ma with the mice that lives in here. Um, one of them is called Debbie. She is a school teacher um, with a penchant for playing bridge with her best friends. And the other is called Clive. Now, Clive and Debbie are not together, but there's a rumor going around that they have been secretly shagging each other on the sly. And um, that is just a rumor between these two mouse mice <laughs> that is the drama that is the drama for the save file debbie and clive the mo the mouse no the mice aiden that is the correct terminology for two mice mouses thank you moving on so we're in the bedroom we're in the, oh, we are in the bedroom darlings i think what we're gonna do i do want to have some kind of like bed that looks like it's from another another land you know i think that would be the vibe for him uh, i would have loved oh i was just about to say i would have loved a four poster but we don't really have one but we have got that one there and that will act as like a little bit of privacy from that window as well i'm kind of into that idea now this is definitely not going to fit in with the aesthetics but this is not what this house is about so i do want to get a pop of color on this i think i kind of like that I kind of like the green but white bedspread old man bum doesn't really mix does it but we haven't got any other choice because they're all bloody white bread spreads oh oh well <sighs> old bed white bed spread and old man bum not that but that not that but that we're moving on because we're talking a load of shit again aren't we um yeah i think that's gonna be the vibe it doesn't suit it at all in here but you know as i said that is what's happening I do want to bring out another desk in here, but it's just going to be a, just a single desk, I think. I'm just going to do like a little single desk. It would have been nice if I could fit it in here and have the chair like here. Hmm. I also changed out the chair in this on this desk here as well. One of you lovelies said, I wouldn't use that one there because it looks like a travelly one and I agree. So what I need to do, I'm going to pull out a whole plethora of stuff because I feel like this space is going to be just as filled as this space. Um, so we just need a whole menagerie of things. And we'll put them around together. Okay, a plethora of things. We're going to start off by putting in this side table with a little teapot on it. That he wakes up and has a little ginger tea every morning. Um, he got accustomed to that when he was travelling through Asia. And he absolutely loved it. Um, a clock. A clock up on the wall. Nothing too descript. Just a nice old, maybe 17th, 18th century clock that he found. Um, found. And... <laughs> We're not going to elaborate any further there. Not at all. I've got several things here. He does love a bit of fishing. He does love a big, bit of fishing, does our Miguel. So I'm going to make that apparent and have this little um, fishing rod with an old picture of him on it as well. Why is that not being able to go on there? Honestly, these apartments. Honestly. I mean, this game, full stop, to be honest. Broken mess, isn't it? But there we go. Will that fit? That's going to have to. Um, Some fishing, like bait, whatever that is. No idea. Don't care. And this here, which is um from some kind of very ancient dynasty that he found. Found once again. Um, And it's just looking after it for the museum for when he pops his clogs. That's the storyline. Thank you. Right. Okay. We're having a wardrobe. I don't know what orientation to put the wardrobe in, to be honest. I think... 
if I remember rightly, we've got a desk there, we've got a mirror. I might even, can I? I might even. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to tilt the wardrobe like that. I'm going to do that and I'm going to put the mirror. I'm going to put the mirror on this side this time. So it is kind of covering that, but that's fine. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Adds to the clutteredness of this build, um, which means in turn, I'm going to find something to put down there because I am squeezing this little desk here. I thought it was such a perfect little writing desk for him. Um, that I have already put up um, a couple of little clutter objects, this writing pad and this thing here as well. Yeah, it just looks like it's got an ancient scroll and stuff on it. And I'm kind of for that. Yeah, I'm into that. Definitely need something there though. now though. It looks a bit weird that. Um, cases, again, he is traveling the world. So I do want to have some big leather cases down there, maybe for all of his objects and whatnot. Uh, we did bring a rug out. I think I'm going to put the rug in that orientation now, just off the edge of the bed like this. Uh, bookshelf. Didn't uh, This one here is a little bit mm, weird looking, but until I've got my hands on that new book kit, I'm just going to have that as a filler for the minute. And we'll use one of the newer ones and put that one there. And there was something here. What was it? Oh, it was the map of the world. <gasps> it was the map of the world here pinpointing everywhere where he's been throughout the world all of his travels and whatnot now we need to leave this area as free as possible because this full gameplay the sims need, need to be able to come to fix all of that kind of good stuff um but i did have yeah this here um some very famous paintings that is accumulated as well um and by 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 lots of means i'm not going to elaborate any further darling he might be a bit dodgy that's all i'm gonna say uh, so we do need a light switch in here as well. The unswitchable switch. Let's flop you to a roundabout there, my darling. Yep, that should be fine. We've got the little mouse hole down there. We'll leave that completely free too. So I do need something here, but I don't really know what... Oh, do you know what might work kind of nice, actually? And it's the ones from City Living. Because they are of that kind of shape. I just want something that's a little, little bit more... Oh, that would be nice. I do like that one. But I do like that as well. Oh, I mean, they're all bloody gorgeous. I've used these to absolute death over the, over the years. We'll go for that first one. We'll go for that first one. Oh, actually, we do need a picture of the lost door of Vagina and Anar, don't we? So I think we need to add this somewhere. It's going to have to be in the bedroom. It is going to have to be in the bedroom, but where? Oh, unless... I mean, we could put it on the floor maybe not no maybe not hmm instead of that i think that's where i'm going to put the lost door vagina na, na, na. i'm going to put it underneath of there like that beautiful stunning yeah happy happy with this it's cluttered it's got stories it feels like miguel and i'm for it so to finish off today let's do the bathroom the bathroom i think what we're going to do is go a little bit not too old but something like this you know what i mean i think something like this would work well in here like that kind of vibe yes because i could do that there i could put the sink here and i think we'll just use the real base game um this one here i think yeah do you come in any other colors yes you do and they're disgusting i'm gonna flop you to there and then get a toilet in here now this should work i will play a test this but it should work. It normally does for me and they're normally able to get in there quite easily. But I, again, as I said, I will play test it for all of us. Don't you worry about that, my darlings. So we need a mirror. I would like a mirror with some kind of storage. So where's that cats and dogs one? Here it is. And we'll go for a bit more of a darker wood here. Oh God, I always forget how big that is. Um, I'm going to have to move that slightly closer. So I hope that will still work. Uh, I'm going to get a little toilet roll. We're going to use the old school one. We'll flop you right to there, my darling. Um, and we do need a towel rail. I would like it to look a little bit messy, so I might use that one here. Even though um, the Virgo in me wants to cry at how messy those towels are. Honestly, not for me. Yeah, I think I'll put them there. And I think I'll be able to finish off with a cheeky little rug. We have a cheeky little rug. Uh, I think what I want to do is maybe do that half one. Is that right by the toilet? Mm, it's far enough away. It's fine. Yes. Absolutely. And I think, actually, 
a little storage cabinet up here as well would look kind of cool. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay, we're done. Miguel, your apartment is finished, my love. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's speaking to me, that. It really is. Let's get into live mode and let's have a little tour around. Now, we do have a rather savage um, thunderstorm going on at the minute. So that's what's happening, Esther, if you're wondering what the other noise is. So straight away into... Oh, God, it's thundering. He's, he's absolutely not phased. He's down there working, loves. Um, so little entrance hall, little entrance. We come into Miguel's rather cluttered looking worldly apartment. Um, the thunder is kind of suiting the vibe. I'm kind of happy with it, <laughs> to be honest. But very cluttered, full of all of his little trinkets. He is working on another book. I have no idea what book that is. I did not let... I, I, I just... I didn't want to know. Um, he's also been um, finding out about a frogfoot fossil. No idea. Absolutely no idea. Um, you obviously just saw the bathroom that we just done. Very boring. Very brown. Um, perfect for Miguel. Perfect. And then into his kitchen area. Lovely little kitchen though. Do you like the little serving hatch? Looking over to next door. God, it's so loud. It's so loud. Um, and then through into his bedroom as well. Obviously was with what we've just done now so a little bit less cluttered but it's just still packed full of all of this trinkety business you know but that's it we're done with miguel's apartment done with miguel's apartment i don't know why the rain sound keeps coming in that sounds very strange let's go here can we not can we there we go we'll just leave on this note here anyway Thank you so much for watching my loves i appreciate you i really do i will be back tomorrow where i did say that we're going to be starting on the penthouse apartment so i would imagine we're going to be there for many weeks or at least a couple of weeks while we get that penthouse finished so that's it leave me some lovely comments down below my darlings and i'll see you on tomorrow's video goodbye